Let's take a look at the switches and controls. Some of these features we're going to be demonstrating out on the road later on. Starting with this switch here, this will put on the reading light above the passenger seat. Next to this, you have the isolation switch for the reversing beeper. You have the nighttime running lights and the cab interior lights. Next to this, you have the switch to unlock and lock the passenger door and the switch for the night heater. Moving across, you have the adaptive cruise control or ACC. Now this is defaulted to on, but you can turn it off by pressing this switch here. When it's off, this will be highlighted to you down in the dip. Now this switch here, this allows you to decrease and increase the distance between yourself and the vehicles in front. Moving down, you have the switch for the self leveler for the ECAS, and next to this is the lane departure warning system. This is defaulted to on, but you can turn it off by pressing here. Next to that, you'll find the diesel particulate filter or DPF. And here you can see the truck navigation radio or TNR. Here you have the switch for the diff lock and this has a thumb guard on it for safety reasons. Below this is the hill start aid and the traction control. Moving across you have the hazard warning lights and you have the directional switch for the AS Tronic. Reverse, drive and neutral and the tortoise mode for both reverse and drive. Below this you have the air conditioning and the temperature controls.